All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here once again with another session of Final Fantasy 16. This is a new one from the last part, as you should probably know if you watched the last one, since I did a whole outro and everything as per usual. But guys, we're here, we're at the church, we're supposed to meet with Sid and Jill. Yesterday we did a bunch of side quests, we barely dabbled in main missions, it was really just basically side quests in main missions. We met the dame who runs a brothel. And she's like the, the the mother of the brothel, and she had us try to find one of her girls that ran away with the garrison man, or kind of got kidnapped by one. They both ended up dead, and now we're heal here after mother told or the dame told us that uh, they're at this abandoned church. We are very close. We've made it past the checkpoint to the empire. Now we are very close to the empire itself. And from we know about the game so far, and what they said in the background is that they're not letting citizens and random people into the empire anymore. So we're probably going to have to, like, squeak in uh, very sneakily. All right, the Battle of Bellinus Tor. The Battle of Bellinus Tor was a conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Sembrick and the Kingdom of in year 853. Having lost vital territory in Sembrick's forces eight years earlier in the Battle of the Twin Realms, the Wallowaters launched an uh, assault on the Eponymous Peak. Looking to regain a foothold in the Imperial lands on the opposite side of the Strait of Altha, both sides fielded their icons, and in the ensuing showdown between Odin and Bahamut, an entire Sembrek legion was lost, and the Wallowatters regained their outpost on Storm. So Wallowatters actually came out on top on this one. Isabel, proprietress of the Veo Northreach, or er, Northreach's far, uh, farmost house of ill repute, the one of Sid's trusted collaborators. Isabel is much admired by the populace for her elegance and refinement, qualities that have earned her the title of the Dame. All right, guys, so we're here gathering at the abandoned chapel. Let's see what Sid and Jill have to say. They don't have brands, so it's probably a lot easier to get them in compared to me. I, it might be the other way around because we just kind of snuck in as her. As her consort, right? Or not consort, sorry. As her, like, slave. So, uh, we were not dating her. And if we were dating her, they would have started disliking her. Her dating a Branda, that'd be crazy. At least in this game, you know? Let's see what we got here. Sid's waiting for us. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. Ah. And here I am. The deserter come home. <laughs> Which is no, your home is Rosaria. We're gonna launch ourselves over there. <laughs> I've built this catapult. You two get in, I'll man it. <laughs> and you guys are gonna take down the crystal by yourselves. These to light another crystal, that's weird. Is that like a dead crystal that can only get power from another active crystal, maybe? Perhaps? I'm actually curious, is it in the active time lore? No. Drake's head is, though. Drake has legendary head. Pause. <laughs> a mother crystal situated in the Sea of Grace in northern Sambrek. Drake's head towers over the holy capital of Aura Flame. It's a mighty form, a testament to the power and permanence of the Empire. However, mysterious Aether Floods and the specter of the ever-encroaching Blight have led Summon Power to call the permanence into question. Of course, I'm talking about the Drake that we play with every Tuesday and Wednesday night, if you guys want to tune in until streams, usually Call of Duty. But hopefully we can find a new game soon, because I am tired of it. <laughs> the Pleasure House. Is this an active time or place? No, it is not. Yeah, that place looks fucking dope, though. The bed looks horrible. Or is that a table? I don't really know. I think that might be a table. Because that that is a flat bed. No cushion. You can break your back jumping on that thing. Pause! Wait, no. I didn't mean it like that. Not at the pleasure house. Anywhere but there. Brothel. Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> So get the fuck out of here. So then, how you gave her proceed? a whole bag, by the way. Using the glass gate tonight, just after sunset. Glass gate. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. Damn. But not the most. Which is a start. 
Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? How exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? <laughs> Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. Ah. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. <laughs> so the guy who no or owned Bahamut actually got him. If you wound me, Jill. Damn, he said you don't believe in me? If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? Because it gives them power. They're in control of this crystal. Pious leaders care for but one thing themselves, and they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. Yeah, see. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you decried as an outlaw. Oh shit! In irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. Yes! Ah! Okay, so we get to the root of the issue here. So what it seems to be like is now it makes sense. You would think if, if the crystals are the things that are tainting the land and destroying the earth, why not just, you know, not make bears, you know, equal... Have them be the people that are forefront running the society because they can actually help cure the land and you know all this stuff. And why are they just like perceived as lesser? It's like basically a big old government propaganda machine, right? So basically, at the very top, you guys you have the guys who are in charge of the crystals, and that's the reason that they have power to begin with, but because these bearers guys who can use magic without the crystals are something that could like take your power away or you know make you seem less useful ergo giving you less power over the realm or your empire or whatever you want to call it then they are actively the wor the worst thing that could be that could happen to you because if they become more popular or useful or seen as the salvation instead of the mother crystals then all of a sudden you have no power or control or anything okay i got you so that's probably why they in like back in the day whenever this started that bearers are lesser than people that it was a main thing because they would either always get like locked up like he said maybe they'd get killed off at first or whatever and now they're just seen as less than people because they don't want them to be popular, want them to be sought after, want them to, you know, replicate if possible because that takes away their mother crystal stuff, what their mother crystal power. The right to use us, to leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. They actually fucking turn this up. woman weep for a broken mug, a torn tunic. Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. So how much you want to bet in their jail cells? To all this. Can you? You have a lot of like scientists, like people who came forward with this information, and they're like, "Hey, you're killing the earth. Fuck you. Go to jail." Right? Like, how many, how, how many researchers and shit well, are in that bitch? Their comforts. Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. <laughs> He's like, "That sounds good to me." To take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. The heel. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. So basically, go ahead and do the side quest if you want to do them right now. That's basically what Sid's saying. Alright, here we go. Sneak into Aura Flame. I don't know what's going on. Like, Mimi's going crazy right now. Just took her out and gave her food and everything. Some nice belly rubs. Drake's head. Pause. In majestic silence as Drake's head ever stood 
uh, vigil over the empire of San Brick and its bejeweled capital. Actually, no, my sister might finally be up and it's probably why they're going crazy. She's probably like, help! Come here, give me pets! <laughs> You've reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return and proceed. Alright, let's go ahead real quick, actually. We'll go ahead and we'll go to the hideaway. And we'll make sure there's no other side quests or anything in the, uh... The, what do you call it? In the... Uh, I'm trying to think. I like this guy right here, the side guy. I don't know why it's just telling us to... I guess we might have gotten a new song or something, I don't know. Alright, but let's go talk to this guy, see if there's any side quests about the land. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Nope, absolutely you nothing. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead, and this is gonna be a major story point now. So I'm pretty excited now. This is literally a, you know... You... Something's gonna change. After this, um... After this segment, I believe. Because why would they say, oh, you can't do any of these side quests anymore, right? If you go on with this, something's got to go, right? Something's going to happen here. Usually they do that at the end of the games. Like, hey, make sure you're done. because, <laughs> Or like Resident Evil, they had it like when you went place. Oh, Drake's head, pause. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like, uh, you know, you're going to leave this area, so make sure you've done everything. And I think Resident Evil did that like two or three times. When you would go like from the village to the castle and then from the castle to the island and then obviously the end of the game, right? There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. Okay. This bodes well. Huh. I'll be a first. So it's, it's not as guarded as it usually jobs. is. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, this might not be that bad of the plan. What do you mean, dick? <laughs> the was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. Ah, true. You want to Sid's all by right now. Stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. This is true. This is actually very true. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. I don't know about that one. Barely but... escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. <laughs> She's like, you two idiots. <laughs> not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. So what are we going to do? Like, turn into Destroy icons and smash the thing? Tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded... Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. <laughs> no, bro, he's trolling. The crystal's curse. All right. This way. Now we know what the crystal's curse is. It's um, turning the stone. Obviously. So why is this? Um, unless they mean the blight too. But the curse is known as, like, you know, the stonifying. So I wonder if that means someone's gonna start getting symptoms or something? We saw Sid's sleeve, he was turning, you know, at his uh, left arm. I don't know if, like, maybe, you know, Jill's gonna start turning, Clive's gonna start turning, I don't know. We haven't used the powers all that much, nowhere near compared to Sid, I'm assuming. Jill was forced to use it, so we don't know for how long she's been Shiva's dominant. I guess we'll go ahead and see that right now, right? Make sure to try and look for everything we can right now because uh, we won't be able to come back to this area, I'm assuming. This is going to be like hostile territory. Once we attack the Mother Crystal, we'll definitely not be invited back here. So, I definitely want to search around. Wow, yeah, the frame rate and the motion blur is hurting my eyes real bad right there. It looked awful for me. I don't know about you guys. For me, on my TV, it just looked like ass, bro. It was hurting me. All right, not quite empty. Let's get this over with. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to fight here. All right, let's do this. Let us, let us, let us do this. Enemies upon us. <sighs> Enemies upon us. Perfect plan, guys. Done. Perfect plan, <laughs> Perfect plan Clyde. Perfect plan. Gouge this motherfucker. Gouge doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does a lot of hits if you 
can land them right, so it's not the worst. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, I wanted to get him with the, uh, the perfect hit. That's what I was trying to do. It didn't let me. We have infinite chunks of wire right at this point. We are not ever going to struggle for chunks of wire right, let me tell you. Yeah, maybe he's going crazy. Okay, maybe my sister isn't up. All right, that'll do. We haven't used limit break at all. You're welcome. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa, a rat! Big ass rat. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. So I'm wondering, are they mining the crystals from the earth itself? It looks like that way, right? But. They have the mother crystal, so maybe aren't they mining the like very bottom bottom part of the mother crystal? I'm, I'm not too sure here. Active time lore, let's see if it tells us anything. Nope, just Sid. Leader of the Hideaway, Dominant Rama. Uh, he has unearthed a shaking truth that the mother crystals were the cause of the all-consuming blight. He plans to take the mother the mother's fall that I'll stay and her people might be saved. So basically just updating us about his plan here. Alright. So far, so good. Just disturbed of, like, one troop of, like, guards. Nothing crazy. And all good things must come to an end. We Not a bunch of them? Yep. Company from now on. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, we got this. Get his ass. Yeah. Stomp. There's actually a lot of them. We'll go ahead and, uh, just tornado this. There's a bunch of them, right? There wasn't a bunch of them, I just feel like, alright, we can wait. Broke that guy's guard. That guy behind us is trying to chase us, like, stop taking him away! <laughs> Please, I'm trying to help! Here we go. Nice. There's just one guy sitting outside, the captain himself. We're gonna break his guard, yep, there it is. He tried to attack us right there. Perfect. What the fuck? Who's this? What is he carrying? This may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What, what is that? More insects come to be cannon here. He's got a fucking cannon. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. What the fuck? Nah, bro, they're tripping. Then let's shut him up. So a new big enemy type it looks like. Black powder. Oh shit, yeah, that did damage too. Get his ass. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What the hey yo! Oh yo, he's doing damage! Oh my god! Nah bro, I did way too much. Precision dodge, easy W. Something in the air. Oh, I timed it too late. I thought the animation like for his attack was gonna come out later. Make this quick. Okay, stagger, let's topple him here. Here we go. Uppercut him. He's got about half. He's pretty tanky. If he becomes a common enemy, it's gonna be kinda crazy because this man is doing the most. What? I, I couldn't get him out of the way. I was between him and the wall. Ah, oh, dude, that thing does too- no, back up. That does way too much damage. Like, way too much damage. Uppercut him, cyclone him. What? Oh, I was dodging right there, okay. He's almost fucking staggered, but I'm also, like, dying here. Alright, we got him staggered. He should be dead here. A little help. Torgo. Torgo. A little help. <laughs> A little help, Torgo. Oh no, I didn't Ah, oh, I used my old kid. I didn't want to. I didn't want to use my old key on Garuda. What is he doing? A Kashik? What does that mean? Oh man, 
There's another tier and I use my ulti. God damn it. You get none in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. There's nothing left but hatred and rage, but why? Like, what happened to him exactly? Oh, come on, bro. I was trying to dodge right there. Oh, what? I was dodging right there. You're trolling. Oh, man. I'm getting absolutely fucked right now. Damn, bro. This guy does insane damage. Like, I don't know what is going on, but he does crazy damage. Nice, he jumped over him right there. Ah, oh, shit! No, I tried to jump over him and it did not work out! Damn, I ran into it! Oh my- yeah, I needed to heal right there, if not I was fucked. Oh, we got him, thank god. No, we used it too early, no! Damn it. Here we go, end of his stagger, we'll go ahead and use this. Now he should take constant damage and it lasts longer than normal now because of our... We uh, leveled it up and everything too. Back up, can't see the explosion. Oh, he fucking hit me, bro. Dude, we are, like, dying to this guy. It's not even funny. Like, he's actually eating our ass. This guy's the toughest boss in the game so far. What the fuck? We staggered him right during his fucking attack. Dude, that's huge. Alright, he should be dead, I think. Yeah, he should definitely be dead here. Yep, here we go. Imperial Cannoneer slain, bro. Hey, that better, they better not be common enemies at this point. This motherfucker is <laughs> ridiculous, bro. The favor of Inferno Ignition. We don't, we don't use Arkeli around here. I'll never get used to that. The Kashyyyk will know he was still a man. What is an Akashic? I was about to say, the irreversible change brought by a living being's overexposure to aether. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or self or sense of self, and they may once had, and become sufficed with life force or suffused with life force, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Flora can also turn, resulting in the twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominance and bears, are less likely to turn akashic. But it's not impossible. They just said less likely. Underneath her. It's no way for anyone to go. So basically, they become fully feral. Like, they don't recognize anything. They don't know anything. They're just. It's like they have rabies or some shit. Like an animal with rabies. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. So it's due to overexposure to Aether. So basically, what it is, it's. Because they're mining the crystals, even if you're just around it, you can still turn. That's crazy. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like radiation poisoning in a sense. And even if you're just slightly around it, and even if it's at low levels, you can still get fucking got. If you're around it for long enough. And your tolerance just isn't good or anything. Alright. Oh, the book? I think I thought it was gonna be something else. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? For real. Sid, this is an ether flood. Yeah, this is there it's everywhere. Here, the workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us. But I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. True, if there are people left behind down here that they didn't evacuate or soldiers at their post, then there's gonna be a bunch of those guys, and that guy was fucking me up. <laughs> that guy, that guy was eating my ass. 
I had to use like all my potions. Oh, thank God. A high potion. Thank God I got that. A meteorite. That's always useful. Another potion, perhaps? Yeah! Alright. I dig it. I need it. <laughs> Steel silk. Oh, some people are here. They've definitely turned you up. Ashic Miner, or Akashic. The gods. But it wasn't like this earlier, like even that guy we were fighting. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? Oh. She said you could call her Isabel. He got jealous. I thought there was a reason to up sticks and eat the blood with the earth. Maybe those cards of the game. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Oh my god. So is that another reason that... So it, she wasn't just talking about like, hey, they want that land to the south. She was saying they want to move all together because of these fucking Aether Floods. Oh my god. That's kind of fucking nuts. They're keeping so many secrets to capital, right? He was jealous. He's like, you, you get to call her Isabel. <laughs> yeah, fucking Clive has that unmatched fucking soft-spoken riz, bro. Man's risen up the dame. Two pinches of magic ash. That was very Final Fantasy 13 esque right there. <laughs> like an up arrow to get through the uh, the obstacle. Horrible Jill made it with ease. Uh-oh. Sid, on the other hand. Uh-oh. Doesn't look that far. Right. Nah, you already... It, it's making a big deal of it. He's gonna fucking fall or get stuck or something. <sighs> now. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Fuck. He's good, he's good. Oh no. He's not no. good, he's not good. Hold on. Nice. Clive to the fucking rescue. <laughs> big breath, big sigh. Oh shit. Not quite as spry as I used to be. <laughs> I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's keep going. A nice bonding moment for the crew there. Nearly dying. It's it's those slight changes that Sid was saying earlier. You <laughs> you, you gotta feel fulfilled afterwards. War Cry. Some opponents will use the ability War Cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the blue sword icon and try to defeat the enemy before they can deal too much damage. Okay. There are a lot of them and they're spread out, so I can't even just use the tornado like that, you know? The thing is, like, like oh man, you got away from me. But like I was saying, when we were on our way in, though, it didn't look like this. It wasn't flooded with Aether. It wasn't all blue. Uh, it only happened when we were fighting the Cannoneer, right? So, I'm wondering what, like, did something just happen right now? And then they were saying they had those guards on the outside to keep these Ashic or Akashic Miners in. But, like, did they know this was going to happen? And they were like, alright, you know, post a couple of y'all in there and keep them in. Don't let them come out, right? Interesting. Alright, keep on going. Fuck him up. Jill was helping us out there. Let's grab that one from Sid. Help him out. He was a captain. Level up, that's always nice. Excuse me. Alright. Got a couple items, hopefully some fucking potions, because you know we need those. That man fucked us up, that cannoneer, bro, I'm telling you. That's looking good. 
don't see anything besides that item over here. Assuming we gotta go this way? Yeah, that, that hole right there. Here we go. Till we can find. 